Welcome to part number 8 of Need for Speed Underground. This is the movie Chicane, and today we're doing the Downtown series. So let's go back and install the other upgrades that we haven't done yet to this car. This is where si I don't care about what Samantha has to say. Turbo? I know what a turbo is. If you're gonna put more power in your okay, so weight, suspension, and nitrous is what we still need to do. But we haven't unlocked them yet. Um... We have a new, we have a new vinyl, don't we? Alpine, that's right. So let's go paint the car. That's it, black. Let me read your comment. It just disappeared on my end. You said something about Razor being that guy. Let's let me read it real quick. So. Exactly, dude. Like, it, it gave you a reason to get pissed, you know? Like, you're just like, ugh. Like, that bastard that took my damn car, you know? It's just like... You wanted you wanted to get your hands on Razor, you know? And just strangle him like, you motherfucker, you took my car and, like, you went to the top of the blacklist. Like, that's why Most Wanted is my favorite, because they did all that perfectly. They set up who the antagonist is, who his little posse is. You know, Ronnie and Bull. And they just made you hate them so much that you wanted to just beat them. And you know when you got to Ronnie, you knew things were going to get so serious. When it came to Carbon, I just kind of felt like once you unlocked um, Silverton, you're just like, eh, like, uh, take over more territories, I guess. Like, Darius is just like, don't disappoint. And then it's just like, you know, I did this all for you. Blah, blah, blah. Like, I mean, I, I I, don't know. It wasn't obvious that it was Darius who did all that, but at the same time, it just kind of like... It's kind of like the Sigma twist in, Mega Man, in the Mega Man X series. It's like, Sigma already died, but you already knew he's going to come back in the other games. It's just kind of like that, except obviously Darius didn't exist beforehand. But what I'm saying is just like, you kind of had a feeling uh, he's probably the protagonist or the antagonist of the series. Of the game, of the game. And my headphone just fell out, so I'm going to have to drive one-handed once we get to a mini straight, like here. Right, Darius was just a spoiled kid, like... Like... <laughs> Oh, no worries, Marvin. No worries. I mean, you'll get to see them once we get once we get into them. Sorry about that. I mean, everyone just kind of striked up a conversation about the other games, so that's why I couldn't really circumvent that. But I'll be honest with you, Marvin. These games aren't really that story-driven. There's not really much of a story to them. And for my favorite one, Most Wanted, there's one thing that I didn't mention about the story, which I will not mention at all. <laughs> it's an old game. But yeah, they're not very story-driven to begin with. It's just, the story's more of an afterthought, really. Well, except for Most Wanted. That one has a really good story. Like, Underground 2's story is meh, in my opinion. I mean, it's just really cook you know just cut and dry or, or cut and paste from this game it's just like you have your one dude they tell you he's bad well I mean, yeah to a certain extent actually it's not ace combat or middle gear level of history yeah that's true <laughs> that's very true but you know caleb yeah underground 2 is really confusing i mean caleb destroys your car in the beginning with the hummer rachel is bay yeah rachel is bay I like Mia too, like Josie Marin or whatever her name is, but yeah, Rachel. Yeah, she's fine. But anyways, um, what were you saying? Uh, yeah, Underground 2, it's just like Caleb destroys your car and then they don't even mention him. They don't mention him again until like stage 3. And they don't really... They don't really do a good job of letting you know who his crew is. It's just like, 
Exactly, Pleb King. It's just like you beat the chick, and then all of a sudden it's like, no hard feelings, right? Nikki's with us now. Like, huh? It's still a good game. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you have a feeling that Underground 2 was rushed? Hmm. That's the game that everyone seems to love the most. <laughs> good job, NG. It was my own fault. I should never have took my teammate out. I'm so sorry to Toyota and KBM and Switch and all the number 18 guys. Sup, Steven? Yeah, I mean, the gameplay was what really made Underground 2 worthy. That's why Most Wanted is my favorite game in the whole series, because the story was so good. Especially that twist at the end, which I will not mention. Alright, time for the next race of the Downtown series. Oh, there's two songs by Overseer? <laughs> Bus stops that way, champ. Like, I kind of want to rush through Undergrounds 1 and 2 because I really, really want to play Most Wanted. I mean, that's that's very true, Black Elite. That is very true. But as a kid, I had no idea what was going on. And so... <laughs> he took a cab to prison. But as a kid, I knew what was going on. But I mean... Yeah... It was kind of, it's kind of true. Yeah, same here, Arthur. While Underground 2, everybody, like, everybody kind of has their cars all decked out already. But I do like the consistency of not having unique parts for all the AI cars, which is good. It makes it feel truly unique. It makes it feel like you truly have a special part that nobody else on the street has. forgetting about the damn fence right there. <laughs> this is the one game in the marathon that I've not played the most of. I've only beaten this game like one time and that was in the 10th grade. Yeah, I mean that, that's that's true. I know it, it's so funny. It's just like, dude, even after you beat the game, they still trash talk you, even though you took Caleb down. It's like you, everyone was against Caleb because he was messing with the sponsors for all the URL races and whatnot, and you went and single-handedly saved Bayview from all the corruption. Hey James Steve, uh, Stevenson, welcome to the stream. Underground 1, 2, and Most Wanted 05 are the best out of the whole NFS series and the only ones worth playing more than one time through. Though I'm working on most... See, that's why... These damn comments sleeping in 10 seconds might mention me. <laughs> I'll read it right now. Exactly, dude. I've been in Most Wanted so many times that I, I just can't even count. It's, it's more than five times easily I've beaten Most Wanted. And I can play that game over and over and over again. But yeah, anyways, you, you go and beat Caleb, you take down the Wraiths, or Wraths, or whatever they're called, and they still hate you. They're like, hey, newbie, like, did, did your mom know that you took your car out tonight? Like, 
Dude, I saved the whole... I single-handedly saved the entire city of Bayview from getting taken over by Caleb. And yet you're still gonna shit talk. Like, come on now. Show some respect to the king of Bayview, please. But yeah, <laughs> I still find it funny. Oh, Kurt? I know, right? <laughs> Well, that's the race over. Although, I think there's another round after this. Yep. Ooh, the five zigin vinyl. Nice. <laughs> oh my god, dude. The, the corny one liners. I swear to god. Jesus Christ. And if that wasn't dirty, I don't know what is. Oh, I know, dude. Um... You know, there are some mod tools that people use to change sounds, so you might be able to. I would love to have some of the trash talking as, like, some sort of, like, um, subscriber or donation sound notification or something, you know? Especially the guy who's like, hey, boy, let me tell you something. Like, him, he, he cracks me up the most. And I like the little generic car engine sound you hear in the background. Um, I'm playing this on PC, James. Yeah, what Blackwood said. You can pretty much find all the um, all the clips through tools. I mean, the mod community for NFS is pretty heavy. game is corny dude especially like your the mechanic inside your safe house or whatever the one who's like yo dog hurt do you have any a, a, any um fuck what do they say it's like yo dog got any info on what's going on down the, near the stadium like <laughs> so corny well i might lose the race but i have a good amount of points at least Tommy yes I forgot his name hey Alexander thank you for joining the stream man how are you and yes, these NFS Underground games are so good. Mm. A reference to Paul Walker? I mean, he could be. You know, like, Fast and Furious is what really was popular at the time. With Paul Walker, so... That doesn't sound too far-fetched, in my opinion. You yourself are running out of fuel. Well, you had just enough to stay ahead of me, Reese. Reese's pieces are. I saw your comment on my phone. I was like, "Did I call you Recess by accident?" <laughs> rest, yeah, rest in peace, Paul Walker. Yeah, I, I underfueled the car because I I underestimated the um. I underestimated how much fuel I actually had, and I, I got to first somehow. I think the guy in first actually hit the wall. You had an extra lap of fuel. Well, sometimes that's all you need, man.
This should be the final lap. Oh, it is. Underground 3? I mean... As much as I would love for an Underground 3... I don't see it happening. I don't know. I mean, the thing is, is that... We know how EA is, and my biggest fear is that they'll give us like 10 cars and then the rest of them will be DLC. As much as I would like to, as much as I would like it to happen, I just don't realistically see it happening. Exactly, because EA will just mess up the whole, the whole game itself. That's the one thing I don't want, is for them to really mess up any of the old formulas. Like, Need for Speed 2015, I heard it was just garbage. Yes. A uh, Hot Pursuit 2 was really good. Unfortunately, it's not part of my marathon. A Forza Horizon style? I mean, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, the PS2 version is the best one, man. Xbox and GameCube versions are so bad. And there we go. We win the championship. Cool. So, next time on Need for Speed Underground, we do the jailbreak time trial. And damn, that looks like a really long sprint race.